Alright. Alright, we're back. Had to had to get a battery pack. We're getting uh, really low. I think we should be good for a bit now. Thank you guys for recording. I appreciate it. I like how everybody's out here recording. Said there was a SWAT member just on the steps there. Okay, remove that slug. Oh, you good, you good. I appreciate other people recording, I really do. I feel like I'm out here recording alone all the time. That but vent. my thing is this, if y'all scared, why the fuck y'all didn't start putting that fire out? Right? I agree. That's, that's just like waiting on a motherfucker to die. Like smoke inhalation. Cause they, oh. mm -hmm. That's what everybody asking out here, what's the race? I don't know. I know Matthew. You know Matthew. <laughs> Stop playing. They do not care. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew ain't even like this. It must have been the neighbors. <laughs> I'm just not understanding. Y'all brought these two dogs out. If y'all skinny, let the dogs run up in here. But I'm trying to figure out the dogs running here. They don't know Matthew said. So what's next? Y'all just gonna stay down here for hours and hours? Cause you know they got these trucks in the back. They need somebody that's gonna be able to understand. They got one of these trucks in the back of the house. Mm -hmm. That is cut off. Put me on the mic. Let me talk to Matthew. <laughs> I bet you I can get Matthew out of there. They don't do a good job. I'm sorry. Y'all see what Minneapolis St. Paul police do? They letting that boy die up in there and they got fucking firefighters right here. Why y'all just gonna put the smoke out at the top? Knock them up the motherfucking ACs down. Jim. The house is burning down. Yeah, it is. You can see it from the top. That bitch is on fire. Go help Matthew. This is sick. I just, I just can't believe it. It's fire by this here. And it's nothing that's good. No. Like, if Matthew come out here black, I'm fucking y'all up. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't be surprised when you start protesting and writing. Y'all already let George Floyd, the police officer, go. Man, they got this, this man is in the house, on the standoff. The house is on fire, y'all. The firefighters is here, but they won't go up into the chimney and put out the fire at least. They got the dog down, ain't nobody did nothing. Is Matthew coming out black? Maybe. It's gonna be all black work through.
So you know what I'm trying to say? What you hear when I'm trying to speak? What's here? I think they live down there. Yeah, I don't think he's black. Matthew must be white. But still, they should be going up in there helping them. Yeah. <laughs> they did. But no, even if Matthew White, they need to put the fire the fire out somehow. Like, come on now. What y'all got the firefighters here for? Who's she texting? Matthew? <laughs> really? Put me on the mic so I can talk to Matthew. <laughs> Call his mama. Exactly. They do that, exactly. right? Exactly. No, they should. Talk to a family member for sure. Everybody's got family. Matthew got somebody he can't even read again. I wonder if his family even fucking know. Matthew's going through a mental breakdown, y'all. And they wasting time because he could have been saved. I don't give a fuck what he did. What did Matthew do anyway? Well, they don't even know if he's passed out from smoke. That's what I'm saying. Say that yeah. smoke inhalation. He, maybe he's like passed out, man. They don't know. They're just like waiting. Well, my thing is this. What y'all bring the dogs out for? It's a new way to kill them. How y'all go halfway in there and then go in there? Like, come on. Did they didn't even bring the ambulance. St. Paul is supposed to be. It was that last year they left before the firefighters. There's a bunch of firefighters at the other end of the street. So why the fuck they not spraying this fucking building? They're not coming that way. They're not saying he did it to himself. Yeah, they is. Mm -hmm. I didn't think of it like that, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they is. Mm -hmm. You want to set a fire? Okay, deal with that fire. And they're going to claim they couldn't run up in there because they didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. They didn't know who was in there. I mean, they kicked that door, it could explode or anything. They don't have all kinds of excuses. Like, this man's going to die. They're not smoke or anything. It's not making sense to me. I think it's, it's all there's too much smoke in there. He's already passed yeah, out. He is passed out with a towel on his face. Because, <laughs> baby, he's going inside. Finally! They're going in. They're going in. They're going back in, y'all. Let's see what they got going on. They're going to run back out. Man. <laughs> they going to all be chilling. Yeah. They're going to run back out. That's just stink. Cause they all scared in the motherfucker. Look at them. <laughs> running around like army men. Yeah, but army men don't do that. <laughs> army men get in and get out. Well, they're, they're pretending. No, yeah, pretending. That's the thing. Excuse my voice now. Matthew, you got us all out here waiting. <laughs> right, and it was smoking. Yeah, no, well, the roof was actually on fire a little bit a long time ago, and then it like died down to that white smoke. So <laughs> they've been waiting. Too patient, right? I mean, smoke's not pouring out the door, so or any of the windows, so maybe only in the attic, you know. 
They need to be calling Matthew Mama, his kids, somebody. No dead ass. He can't be. Most thing those people talk back to you, right? Yeah, they just show up and show us something. Oh my god, I was mad at you. Damn. You like Jesus. <laughs> This is great. Look at this squirrel. Look at that baby bag. This squirrel's like, squirrel. squirrel's like, what the fuck is going on? Man. It's not a crack. Look, they all come and look at how this is now. Man, bye. The smoke is still going. Y'all see that? The house is on fire. Matthew is still in there. This is standoff. I don't understand how they call this standoff. Matthew ain't got no, I ain't seen no, heard them about no gun or nothing. <laughs> This hope in 7th Street. Yeah. That's his problem if he saw his building on fire. Matthew, I need to talk to him. 
Yeah, a viewer brought me, brought me a charger so we could stay live here. I've been here for, well, I think it was like an hour and a half when I cut that last stream and another 15 minutes. It's been going on for quite some time. So. Excuse me, there go y'all drinks. Ooh, they didn't have no Sprite, so I just got some on the radio. Thank you. Thank you. So there are still some SWAT in the doorway there. Roof is steadily on fire or smoking. This is Hope in 7th in uh, St. Paul. Gotta get his laundry. Laundry day.
it's like a standoff. They think somebody's in the house. And they uh, lit the attic on fire for those just joining. Uh, well, apparently with the attic on fire. Um, it's the seventh and hope in St. Paul. He's uh Cleared the sidewalk over there to put the canine right there. Right there. What's he got a tattoo? You got money for a tattoo, though. That's money you could have spent on food. Swap moving around inside a little bit. I think I got like some, like, Maya, your legs are there. I mean, your body just say, 
Yeah, the smoke does seem to be increasing a little bit. Yeah, I appreciate, uh, I, I won't name him, but I appreciate the, uh, the gentleman that brought me a battery pack. Uh, enabled me to stay out here live. Had to go, had to re back go live, but. Speech there. You don't understand what I'm saying? He got some nervous ticks. <clears throat> so they call that doorway area the fatal funnel. It's kind of interesting that they're all sitting in there. If there was somebody they were scared of, they wouldn't be standing right in the doorway like that because they can't all retreat. That's what they call it. Because they'd be tripping you over each other if they're trying to back out, you know? There was some cops in the laundromat. Sergeant Unstray. He's been a sergeant for five years. He's a fresh sergeant because he doesn't have an understripe. I've been watching St. Paul cops for a minute. I see. <laughs> for a minute. I think St. Paul has a drone. They usually ask Roseville to bring one in. The Capitol? Yeah. Hmm? The Capitol don't have a drone? 
like the sheriff's department does, I think. But not St. Paul Police. What's going on, y'all? Mm. What y'all do now? What happened now, y'all? I missed it. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. They bagging out one at a time. Oh, uh, and it's a black man, too. I sweat in that wall. They got water. They all just came out. Make something happen. Somehow. Leave them at a long shit. <laughs> <laughs> Help them put the fire out and go on. <laughs> no, I'm saying at this point, like, they, they don't been out here for two hours or something. Like at least two hours. Ain't did nothing. Like. They hooked up the hose to the fire hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you gotta got smile. You gotta smile or something. So when they have the under, where's the other sergeant? When they have the under, under stripe on the sergeant stripes, that means five years as a sergeant. So he's he's less than five years as a sergeant. The house has been smoking the entire time. I don't see fire. There was flames at one point, but I don't see them no more. So it's just smoke. Cough has a lot of gel in his hair. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Call Matthew. 
I mean, presumably they talking to him over here in the uh, command unit. Zoomed in view sucks. You like the, the YV better? Parked right in front of the fire hydrant they talking about. Entirely St. Paul police action, looks like two different SWAT teams. to be 30 officers here. So, I'm really hoping there's nothing else going on in the rest of the city, because they're all here. Called the chipping chicken coop. Do 
license plate on fire truck it says fire. Yeah, I really expected that place to catch. It's kind of like smoldering or whatever. Boom! Blow that motherfucker up, Matthew! <laughs> Blow that motherfucker. Yeah, we need to know all these motherfuckers. They're on the side. Yeah, they still ain't put the fire out. That ain't what they, they here for. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> get cleared. Give me the gun. I'll show you, you motherfucker need a what to do. You need a bass too. <laughs> Give me that motherfucking chopper, his bitch ass. Gotta come back out. out. We going through the front and the back. Come on, baby. <laughs> Give me that shit. I'll go. We going in that motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, Anything move a roach, a flea, a shoe. Matthew just need a blunt, man. Let me smoke with him. <laughs> right, let me right. Smoke with him. <laughs> Absolutely. Matthew, let me smoke with him. That's all he did. The blue balloon. Send the robot in there with the blunt. <laughs> That's all he I'm trying to get over there. He'll come out. They won't let you in. I came from that way. To a yard. Oh, that part. That would have popped up. We'd have been up and on each other. <laughs> what the fire? Drop that thing. Don't drop that dirty cheese. I thought I don't drop this. You hold that up with two fingers. So yeah, there's a ton of people that come out recording too as well. People across the street. Yeah, we out here. We out here. Put me on your podcast. Yeah, I'm live, man. Film the cops a lot. <laughs> she a bottle of wine. She's ready, she ready to camp.
I just want to say gladly fuck you, bitch. Load them guns, fool. Look at him. Appreciate the donation. Oh, they're going around in the yard. Let's go, y'all. If we all go now, they can't stop us. Where they go? The back? He ran around that uh, great house. They still ain't gonna go in. They did the last time. Oh. They just like to run every once in a while. Right now, they got to give 
We still out here. They, they just gave a command to us ass. They said, bring your ass out the window. <laughs> nah, I'm talking shit. <laughs> Hold on. Ain't you police? You look like one of the motherfuckers on the street. You're on the church? Oh, you almost, you almost fooled me. What's going on? I'm about to say, what the fuck are you doing back here? <laughs> What's the time to be on? They got the motherfucking um, hey, the pepper hey, dogs. Hey, what, hey, hey, buddy, they say. Hey, they gonna shoot his ass with the rubber bullet. Gee, he fooled me. He looked like the administrator, like he was. So, my guy, this is the last one. Give me the gun, I'm going in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him, I'll get him. 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 I'll uh, this live is 53, but I had another hour and a half live right before this. I had to get my battery paired. So, like two and a half hour I'm in here. Yeah, he dead, smoking. He's dead. Hey, buddy, dog, dead. smoking. It's been three hours. He's been smoking for three hours. He, he about to just use the smoke to bring him off the ground. The leg, the wings. He don't want to smoke. He can't hold on to everything now. For St. Paula. Yeah. 
Look at the dog on the steps. That's why they should have been breached that motherfucker because they don't know who in that motherfucker. If Matthew got a gun, he would have been killed the motherfucker. He in, he in the house on fire. If the motherfucker retarded. I don't know. stay in the house. But he in the basement though. He's in the basement, I hide my everybody else dying. He got the bad stuff full of water. He just dipped his head in there here He got all them towels in the motherfucking bad stuff full of water. Yeah. I want a bathroom, turn on the water, pump that door up. He's never spoke. And breathe in that motherfucking, in that wet ass towel. That's it? That's it. That's all he gotta do. But he in the basement. He in the basement though. I don't know. I'm put some baby oil right in front of the door. Hey, you hear me? It's a motherfucking water. You hear me though? You hear me though? Why don't you bring your bitch ass in there? Don't get on your ass. I'm trying to tell you. I think you might bring Slap that baby oh, around the motherfucking floor. Hey, you bring the motherfucker. They got me. Look, I'm not. And they think it's all right there. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too short. 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 This nigga got a whole shield. Oh, yo, look at the room, the room the I came on my front door like, hey, get the fuck him over here. Because if Matthew got a gun, get the fuck him over here. I got kids in here. Y'all better stand in front of Matthew out. Come to my yard. I don't give a fuck who y'all is. Hey, Girl, they back in the doorway with the dogs. They back in the doorway with the motherfucking dog, bitch, and the Amalams came and it's still nothing going on. They asked, they told Matthew to ask. Oh, crazy. <laughs> hey, I'm here. <laughs> hey, it's I'm not sure, I don't think so. Well, I don't, I'm not sure. That's more accurate. I mean, the house has been on fire for a long time. For smoking, I guess it's not on fire. They think somebody's barricaded in there, I guess. So they got SWAT sitting in the doorway. But I don't know who has set their own house on or it's like has a house. Protesting something, maybe? I don't know. I've never seen that car before. I want to take a look at that big one over there. It's SWAT. It's SWAT vehicle. Is it SWAT? It's SWAT. Oh, SWAT. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Special weapons and tactics. Uh, I think it's a Bearcat. Another stupid acronym they made up.
cover his head up, dude. Hey! Hey, little homie. Don't see it, ain't no Yeah, the smoke's coming out of the like roof part, no, not just the vent. Damn, anymore. Matthew! Can I get Matthew a blunt? The hell, another cop running cold here? Hey, I'm talking about my car. 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 Oh, he's gonna park right in front of us. Oh, hell no. They can't go in without the police. You gotta park there, man? What's your name, man? You gotta park right there, huh? Oh, we're gonna get your name then. Oh, he parked in your way? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, Chief. You a whole ass nigga for that. Tell the police I said it. What's your name? Alan Gabrielle, Deputy Chief. You can't move your vehicle a little bit back so we can see. You're gonna be an asshole like that. I'm not really what I'm here for is to help with the incident. That's great. That's great. You see all this tape? You obstructing his view. Yeah, you are obstructing my rights right now. You know you's a bitch. Bitch ass nigga. Yeah, tell him to take me to jail. I got bail money, bitch ass nigga. For obstruction, hoe ass nigga. Bitch. That was a hoe ass bitch. I'm over here. Mm. Hey. Come right here. There, there is a whole fucking parking lot here he could have parked in. A whole fucking parking lot. You's a bitch. Your mama's a bitch. Your kid's a bitch. He could have parked there, there. Motherfucking over there, over on the sidewalk. He wants to pull up right in my motherfucking way. I'm a bear right out there. I'm a bear right out there, motherfucker. They can suck this cosmic old dick. You can see on this side. You can see over here. And there's a little right down here. Yup. Where? Why are you doing a good job here? He gonna come and struck your view with his bitch eyes. What do you do? He's gonna come and struck your view. He's gonna find the camera. Oh, good view. Huh, come stand right here. You got a better view right here. Yup. Right you there. can't go. I'm gonna just fucking go over here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go. Now, Jimmy, they can't stop us from seeing shit. This dude blocked my view with his car. I asked him to move it, so no. Hey, hey, hey. 
Yeah. He's a whole ass bitch. Your deputy chief is a bitch. We're working. We're working. What? So am I. He can't cross this line, right? Okay, he ain't crossed that line. Leave him the fuck alone. Well, right. that line too. Man, fuck that line. Yeah, nigga, that line ain't stopping. Nobody even doing this. Okay. Long as he ain't on the oh, crime scene. Yeah. You gonna arrest me for standing right here? Get your bitch ass on. Leave him the fuck alone. Yeah, I heard them get on their ass. That's what I'm talking about. Go in that damn house. You so tough, Tony. You want to come over here, but you ain't running in that motherfucking house. Go get in that house. Go get in that house. The fuck y'all don't be a bother. Next time they fuck with y'all, y'all come get me. Whoa! That one ain't a gunshot, though. Oh! They, they shooting the smoke in there. Did y'all see that through the top window? Yeah, they shot the smoke in the crowd. Oh, they did it again. You see smoke? You see smoke? They burned that room. They know what really is. I'm going to come out the window. Matthew. Oh, shit. I got the window, Matthew. They shoot windows out with a 40. These dudes over here shooting 40. Shit, they're like popping all the way down the street here. All right, I'm from the good. <laughs> Y'all don't even know if it's kids in there. Let me get live. How you do that shit? Mine ain't going dead. Yeah, so we out here with the bitch ass police. Hold on, y'all. It's a standoff. Matthew with three hours with smoke. Is that what they're doing? Yeah. That's some gas bombs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's already smoke in there. Y'all watch out. Matthew White, you got a lot of guns. You got guns and shit. <laughs> don't we all? Y'all gonna get that man shot. That part, don't we all? <laughs> don't we all? I hope. Hey, how did they do the gas bombs? And then the came out. But it's already smoking. Oh, they definitely coming back. That's what I'm saying. You gotta take the dog in there with y'all's kids. They shoot the gas. They shoot the tear gas in that motherfucker. Hey, buddy, it goes. How you shoot tear gas in the house? In the house on fire already. It doesn't make no. It ain't gonna phase them. The bitch ass nigga been in there for an hour or two with the smoke already. Three hours. He's probably passed out by now. That part. I've been saying that. He got that wet towel. He's probably gone. For hours and hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They pump a lot of gas. He is funny. That guy in the background is funny as hell. Look at this guy. He needs his whole bag of 40s. They're going to get the AR out of that trunk. Man. They don't fucking run, whatever's going on. So it's still They already tried. And they just shut off the top. They tried going there. So what, they chased them in there or something? Nah, he been in there. Oh, they came in? Everybody downstairs came out. All the kids just got to run it like crazy. Oh, okay. But if that's why, he ain't part of any of them. Did they say what he did? No. Oh, look at the house. Oh, they put a line of gelatin to try to stop us from getting seen. So I crossed the parking lot. Man. Hey, what happened? Hey, as long as they don't get anything, they're good. Well, what that video don't get at you, guys? It's live right now. On what? On YouTube. YouTube. What's your name? Are you on YouTube? Capital Transparency. Capital Transparency. Yeah, Capital Transparency. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we in the Capital St. Paul. Yeah. Capital Transparency. I watch cops a lot. First time a fire, deputy fire chief ever parked right in front of my camera, though, like a bitch. Matthew, they get out and the house on fire. The house on fire and in that motherfucker. Matthew, they get out and the house on fire. 
Matthew's gone. Matthew, Matthew set that Matthew set that bitch on fire and hit it. Buddy gone and hit me. That's that shrimp fried rice on the stove. That's a shrimp fried rice. Well, but as long as they got some Asians still hit that field, they just go. They left that rice on the stove. That shit burned like a motherfucker. All I know is look at all these bitch ass police. I ain't doing it no more. Okay, so look at the road they live there. They smoking a rock out. He can't get to the motherfucking base. He out here. We waiting to see if Matthew gonna get shot when he shoots somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Whoever that is, he ain't gonna make it. Fucking with them. They got more people. They gonna come. Yeah, they gonna come. Hey, all the niggas are all the way down there. He might be passed out from all the smoke in there, man. This shit's been fire forever. He might be passed out from all the smoke in there, man. This shit's been fire forever. That's why the way so long. Come on, 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 That's the Air Force, they call it. Because you ain't supposed to be standing on the ground. It's more like the ground. So I'm gonna tell the chief, chief exactly how I feel. He's only, he's only the deputy, so there's one above him. We'll see how the real chief feels. Here they come. Yeah. 
Oh, you guys, you guys are bored. Wait, wait. But you need to wait, and it's not. Fire needs to put off the fire, and it's not. The fire is going up to the fire. They over here on all those, but they ain't over there on Mad Hill. Yeah, because they don't want to see you. Is that a lawful order? They got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. They got to shoot Matthew. That's a lot of money. I ain't got nothing in my hands. Yeah. You guys gonna arrest people? You gonna feel good about that? Yeah, he lied. He lied. Lee, you call him back. You guys bored, so you gotta arrest the people, huh? That's what it is? Naaman? What's your name, Brody? Commander. I've been here for how many hours recording and now you're gonna get on my case. How am You guys have a fire hydrant hooked up for fucking two hours. You see how everybody's on the sidewalk? You have you have, you have cars here. We're shutting the whole street down for a block. So you're gonna have to cross the street and go down a block. The whole street for fire. Yes. Not, not because you want to block cameras. We're blocking it for the fire. Bullshit. We're all wearing cameras right now. Everything is. Why? You guys got to bring out a lot of handcuffs, then. You guys put on the sirens, I'm sure the people will get out of the way. It's a bullshit. It's a bullshit. All these muscles can't get one person out. So so they need so there's a bench here, so so let's look at this. Let's look at this situation, what they're talking about. There's a motherfucking light pole right here, there's a bench here, and there's a motherfucking bus stop here. And they're talking about they need this area. They need this area for the fire department. Let's use some logic, asshole. Everybody. Give me that desk there, huh? You don't like me. Tell them who we work with. Tell them who we work with. Free bands, bitch. I got more money than all you motherfuckers. Yeah. I got, I got more money than all you motherfuckers. They want to push us back because they don't want, to, want us to see what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and all these all these cops are bored as fuck because they've been here for half a shift. For half a fucking shift, you guys been here sitting around doing nothing. Hey, hey, nobody, who did? You guys are garbage, dude. Hey, you guys are garbage. You swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. You swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. Are you going to listen to orders from your... Dude, you swore oath. To uphold the Constitution, each and every one of you. I've been here for four hours. You guys are fucking ridiculous. I don't appreciate you at all. Whose command is this to move everybody back? Is it yours, Sergeant? Or is it this stupid... Can I get your business card, Commander? You think this is a good idea to move cameras back across the street? Requesting it, sir. That's bullshit. That's you bullshit. The fire Do you want me to go get the fire chief for you? The I fire chief blocked my fucking view with his car. That I can't help. And now, now because he's butt hurt, he's making you guys move us across that the street. That that's be. bullshit. You know that's bullshit. No, you swore an oath to uphold fire, the Constitution. Fire is in control of the scene. I need you over there. Because fucking. Dude. 
I mean, uh, you don't actually respect what I'm doing. You're you're pushing us back so we can't see. You don't want witnesses for whatever fucking dirty shit you're doing. How how are people? Listen, listen. No, you want to you want to dis? No, you have it. Pushing people back is not. How does fire need this area right here by the bus stop, the garbage can, the light post, and the bench? Let's use some logic. That structure, I can't have you hit. Do you understand when you fight him? I can have him come explain it to you. But when debris flies, if that goes Oh my flies, God. You can be hurt. So I need you guys back. aren't responsible for our safety. You never have been. There's case law that, that even explains that for you. Oh, what the fuck am I going to see across the street? Fucking bullshit, dude. Fucking pussy ass cocks. Y'all are full of shit today. Five fucking hours over there and you're pushing me out. It's a bullshit call. A bullshit call, Commander. I'm going in the alley then. Fuck these people. Fuck these stupid ass cops. <laughs> This is a bullshit call. Bullshit call. You want it?
hard spot to be at. Yeah, good luck when I need the place. They don't do anything. Fucking stand around for a half a shift. And block off the whole fucking road for the fire department to come in. Oh, I don't see them coming in because the trucks are at the south end of the street. You guys are so full of shit. So full of shit. The fire department's in control of the scene now, so I guess they don't even need to use hoses or anything that they hooked up hours ago. You know what? I kinda, I kinda like this spot. I kinda like this spot here. It's tough, and my knee hurts. So I don't know how long I'm gonna last up here. But they're probably coming for me. Oh. Let's see if it really was I was in the way of the fire department. Because I certainly can't be in the way of the fire department up here. Oh, I'm not a poor baby. It's just there's a fucking stupid ass call by the police to do that shit. Stupid fucking call. Yeah, I don't see any fire department coming in at all. So now they've ruined the fucking whole flow of traffic around here for what? Because the fire chief was butt hurt because he was getting recorded? Deputy chief. Maybe you should go do some more drinking and driving, huh? I think that's what the St. Paul Fire Chiefs do, is a lot of drinking and driving, right? That's what you guys are good at. Oh, well, you can see the smoke pouring out of the other side. Yes, I'm butthurt because there's no reason for them to move the people back other than they're scared of accountability. 100% they're scared of accountability. They've had trucks on the south end of that road for hours, hours and hours. And now suddenly when the d stupid ass deputy chief comes, they're going to want him to push everybody back because he's in charge of the scene. Bullshit. I call big bullshit on that. 100% bullshit.
Look at all the fire trucks they're bringing in, guys, that they got the road closed for. Oh, wait, zero. Absolutely zero. They brought sh nothing in. The people should care about accountability. Obviously, you're watching the stream for some reason. You must care. Oh, they're just doing their job, huh? Yeah. Right. Right on. They've been watching this house burn for fucking hours and hours. And suddenly, they're gonna wanna go in, but actually they're not doing shit right now. Fire truck's still sitting there. The spotlight and the smoke now. Wow. Yeah, fuck the Constitution, right? That's what you say? You're just here for the paycheck. Fucking pussies. This guy swore an oath to the Constitution. That guy swore an oath to the Constitution. That commander swore an oath to the Constitution. All these officers swore oaths to the Constitution. And apparently, they don't care about it. Yes, when they're blocking the your First Amendment right, that's uh, the first part of the Constitution. I think you should maybe look it up. Just, I, I don't know, just a suggestion.
I have not swore an oath to the Constitution, but I have read it. No, I don't particularly feel like going to jail because these assholes are stupid enough to do it. For the deputy chief the, from the drunken uh, St. Paul Fire Department. Still doesn't look like this fire is being put out, but they needed us to move back. Wow, look at them putting this uh, look at look at them putting this fire out so quickly after they moved the crowd back. What a great move. Look at them putting this fire out so quickly. Look at them work so hard at, at putting the fire out over here. Wow, they're working really diligently to put this fire out. Oh wait. They haven't started doing shit yet. I don't think that geriatric <laughs> undersheriff uh, could do much. Oh, the union says that, huh? Well. The union guy is the one who was drunk driving of the St. Paul Fire Department. Isn't that weird? What's smoking in the house if it's not on fire then? He's just got a uh, very large candle going. Oh, they're waiting for a real journalist to show? Okay. I don't really care what you uh, what you think, honestly. You're right, welcome to your opinion. Yeah, I guess there's a bunch of smoke bombs in this house right here that's on fire. It's smoldering, I guess. So the cops did all that just so they could fucking stand around in the road with their thumbs in their butts some more. Let's, let's start describing what they're really doing. They spent a whole half of a shift 
maybe a lot of them on overtime even, uh, just standing around doing nothing, doing nothing. Commander's probably making like $60, $70 an hour, right? This is what you pay all your taxes, all your tax money to do. Is so all these guys can come around and have a, a marshmallow, marshmallow barbecue watching this fire burn. You guys are proud of that? You guys are proud of what you've seen tonight? You're proud of what these guys do? Pushing cameras back? I've been here for hours and they decided to push me back because it suddenly got dangerous. Poor shit. You believe that? I got a bridge to sell you. Yeah, the data requests for uh, live on patrol analytics will be interesting. Will be one of the more interesting data request pools I've ever made. I didn't make it. Jason made it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one viewing it. Oh yeah, I pissed the deputy fire chief off. He got butt hurt. His little feelings got hurt. So he used all of his lap dogs on the St. Paul PD, all his power, to move the people back. So this is what they're doing. All these big dogs that make all the money, they think they uh, have some kind of power. Fucking garbage, dude. What a garbage city, dude. They're gonna sit around and watch a house burn down for hours. Cause I called him an asshole for parking in front of me. So he's like, I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna make these cops move you across the street. And the cops are so stupid that they just obliged. Must be no live on patrol tonight, so the backseaters don't have much to do. But welcome in, welcome in. You guys control your little hearts out. Yeah, if you don't like, why would you watch it? It's pretty, pretty easy not to watch something you don't like. What was unnecessary was for them to move the people back. Because look at all the fire trucks and the, and the fire stuff they're bringing in. That seems like a lie, doesn't it? it seems like a complete lie. Why, why would they lie to me? Why would they lie to the people? Why would they lie to us? I thought they are going to start putting the fire out. 
you guys can't can't objectively look at something I guess you look at it through through government lenses I guess I, I don't understand I'm not always on Bob and Pat. You guys come in here talking about Bob and Pat all the time, so I think they're geriatric old men that have way, way past their expiration date on, on law enforcement. That's my opinion. Both of them, honestly. They're worried about my safety, guys. Because they're bringing all these big fire trucks that aren't on this side of the street in because I already know they're on the south side of Hope Street. So they can just spout out lies so easily and you guys believe them. You guys think they're in the right? No, they're 100% in the wrong. This is your leadership. Look at all the fire trucks they're bringing in. Oh wait, there is none still. It was a lie. Yeah, there could be possibly somebody in that house. Why wouldn't they put the fire out? Why wouldn't they actually rescue the person? Nope, it's, it's because they hate transparency. Any type of transparency, they wanna push it back. They just wanna push it back and tout safety. Safety, 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 right? Or, or they're bringing fire trucks in. Oh, it looks like a lie, 100% lie. Oh, for safety, huh? Why are you guys standing so close? We're all responsible for our own safeties. Everybody out here is an adult. I've sat here, watched SWAT get scared a couple times, watched him shoot the windows with 40 millimeter guns, watched this house smolder for, I don't know, fucking hours now. Suddenly when stupid ass deputy chief uh, from the St. Paul Fire Department gets here, he wants the whole crowd moved back. And the cops, because they don't have any real brains, they just follow orders all the time. Stand around in circles with their hands in their pockets. Look at all that work they're doing over here, guys. Look at all this hard work. God, look, look at these heroes over here, guys. Look at all these fucking heroes here, man. Pushing people back away. Wow, such heroes. That's like a heroic effort by them today. Pushing the crowd across the street for no reason. Just so we can all watch this house burn, I guess.
Then they got some firefighter photographer in here. He's got special privileges, I guess. They're not worried about the firefighter photographer's safety at all, of course. Six, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven over here. There's uh, multiple in this unit. There's uh, two standing by the bus stop. There's two more on the corner there. And there's two truckloads of SWAT people that we watched come in. Not a single one of these officers gives a flying fuck about the Constitution, and they just all proved it. Yeah, man. Alright. No problem, my guy. So now I gotta be in a pretty sketch spot right in front of the house. I can't see shit. I'll go back, walk back around. I'll show you the south end of the block where the, all the fucking fire trucks fi actually are. No, I didn't have any signs there, but he asked me to leave. This is where traffic's getting diverted. I'll show you guys where uh, the fire trucks actually are, not the bullshit that they tried to tell. So they closed the street down because uh, the fire trucks needed to get in, allegedly. But it's weird because I already knew the fire trucks were already sitting back here.
So they've been sitting here for hours back here. Hours upon hours. Some more tape in the road. So there's uh, one, two, three more cops over here. Uh, firefighters sitting on the sidewalk over here, laying in the laying in somebody's yard over there because they're so bored. Another cop, another cop. I want to see where they're gonna let mainstream. Another cop. All fucking day. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke. Watch this job. I don't know how many canisters there are. And they still haven't got them out. They went to the door a couple times. They shot uh, 40 millimeter bullets through the windows. It's a joke. They moved everybody that was on the sidewalk across the street because the fire part, the fire department, quote unquote, needed to come in. But they're already sitting back here staging, so it's weird. Yeah. Their deputy chief is a piece of shit. No, I just wanted him to hear me. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's the city council and the mayor and the other lawmakers of this city. This is stupid. Yeah, they two, two SWAT trucks there. Yeah, well, it's the lawmakers of this city that, and state that says you can't do it because the bleeding hearts will protest if they kill this guy. Or this guy ends up dead. This is just the stupidest waste of resources I've seen in a while. Each one of these cops, at least $35 an hour, even rookies. I don't know how much each one of these fire department guys make, but probably quite a bit as well. We'll have to start pulling data on these guys since your, your deputy yeah, chief's a dickhead. Like they don't, they really don't get paid enough for the shit they have to put up with. It's the city lawmakers. It's the mayor, it's the governor, it's the city council, and the other no, I, that are there. Hey, Their leadership is garbage. I'm sure most of these guys are all right, but when the cops push people back because they're just following orders, you remember Nuremberg, right? That's a politician. I, you know, they swore old stuff, hold the Constitution, not yeah. to shit all over people's rights. But the uh, politicians should not have I don't, you know, I the boys in the fire department. On this? They can only do what they can, they're told to do. This is silly. The uh, you know, public puts them down when they do do their job because it killed, you know, something got killed. They're supposed to sit and talk to them while uh, they're being threatened. This is the absolute silliest yeah, but, scene I've seen in a while. Okay. I'd be dead. Who cares? Yeah, but <laughs> you're a law enforcement. What are you supposed to what are you gonna do? You're supposed to sit and talk to them and try and you know get them to stop shooting. In the meantime No, I don't think they have use of force continuum, man. If they have a, if they have a gun pulled on them, they they smoke in people, especially with SWAT like that. SWAT those were They've been here for hours now they, too. They they govern really by anyone. They they have the same rule book. They have the same St. Paul police policy manual. Police 
Yes, I do. Can't miss me to argue with you, man. But there's hopes. No law, man. They just stand down. Well, they shot his windows out earlier. I thought they're gonna go over, go in and breach everything, and it'd be over. No. Nope. What? Put the windows out. They're supposed to take the goods and all of that. So the taxpayers can pay for the guy's defense and pay for his stay in prison. Or his stay in the metal. What if there's nobody even in there? Wouldn't that be something? Oh, he's in there. They know he's in there. They do? You been listening to the scanner or? Huh? Have you been listening to the scanner or no? I've been up here and been talking with Checking it out. Talking with the police have been on this for the whole time. It's silly. I mean, they were trying to do the job too, but they were done. No. They were told to stand down. I was just told the fire department was in charge. The fire department was only here where they had to shut the gas off. The guy turned all the gas on and started the fire truck to blow the place up. I don't smell any gas, I smell smoke. Yeah, well they cut the gas off. Are the gas gas is off to all the houses? The or just that one? Oh, okay. To that house. Makes sense. You've been burning stuff up there the whole time. Yeah, for hours. Kinda silly. You have a good night, man. Hey, close the road. Can you, can you, hmm? you can just get to that, right, that block right there and back away. Uh, so I guess you can be across the street, but they like moved everybody back because the crowd was getting a little rowdy, I guess. Oh, what? Uh, there's quite a crowd over there. It might be interesting to film. Who are you with? You with independent or? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Cool. Yeah, that, the other side's probably more interesting. Yeah. For sure. So this is what the fire department's doing. Looks like they took the tape down on this side. I haven't been over here in a while. So they have they have some weird tape stuff going on. I don't know how many officers are on this thing. It's sort of pop. Or another pop. I don't want to be on the other side now. I don't know how far those pops were away, but they're pretty loud. Going back around the block. Can't run with my busted up ass knee. Ooh, fuck.
Yes, as always, if uh, cops treat me with respect, I'll respect them back. But when they start treating me with disrespect, it comes out of me real quick. The disrespect it comes right back out of me to them. They're pulling some bullshit. As they do. People were uh, <coughs> expressing their First Amendment right on that sidewalk, actually. Uh, a lot of them had... Uh, lots of things to say and as I did to the deputy chief that parked right in front of me we must be good friends with the uh, the federation chief you know the drunk driving federation chief that really really represents our community well he's really about that public safety when he's drinking and driving Well, the whole fucking street's blocked now, so fuck it. Oh, look, they are bringing a ladder, in, a ladder unit in on this side, I guess. Maybe they will finally put out the fire. The fire's over there, buddy. I can't. Hey, there go my boy right there. Yay! I sent you up there. I was on the roof over yeah, there. Yeah. They kicked me off. The dude was like, You gotta get the fuck off my roof. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. They yeah. yeah. still going in, man. Oh, it's your buddy, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, recorded together. Yeah, last yeah, night. my buddy, man. Together. My new buddy. The, the sheriff's department got scared of us because we were filming them. Fuck the sheriff. <laughs> I just told him I got bail money. <laughs> That's how the community really feels about him. Yeah. Well, well this is silly. They're like just sitting here for fucking hours, man. Y'all see how we coming? Right. Yeah, we can just grab some stuff. I'm coming in all this stuff. I say, like, yeah, right. That's why you came out. Dude, a two hour drive, man. Oh, yeah? Came from home. Hey, you're the only person. That's what it pissed me off pretty good. Yeah, I know. I heard you on your rant. I, I can't. You. I they can't. Made me mad, too. There's no point. Like, what is the point? They're afraid of. A fire explosion or something that's been like this for six fucking hours. The dude on the other side just told me they shut the gas off already. So so there's no gas on there. There's no fear of an explosion. It's a smoldering fire. I mean, you can make an explosion on a lot of things. So pushing us across the street was just a flex of authority that was stupid. Yeah, this did nothing. Besides showing that I'm going to do it. I was going to come take the ride to jail. Did you get a business card? Was that a commander? Yeah. That is the commander's orders. So that's a commander from East. I don't know that commander. I've never met her before. I've never seen her either. Oh. Yeah, you got a smoke to dude? Shout out your. Uh, no, don't smoke. I know. This is so stupid, dude. So put a tape over here.
By the way, the commander's orders uh, that that were was um, was uh, just for uh, posterity's sake. Commander May Mary Molly brought Mary Molly brought. I don't know why she has Molly in parentheses. Oh, it looks like they're spotlighting the house now, finally. Oh, that's how Jason has a good view is. It's like a full moon out, too, behind that. But yeah, the best view is on that dude's, uh, on that dude's roof. Were you up on his roof? Yeah. Is that where you went? Yeah. How the hell did you get up there? You could go down the alley and then you can cut, go right on his roof. Oh, is that? Oh, up over there. Yeah. Okay. But he, there he told me to leave his roof though, so like, I don't remember I'm not going to trust Beth. That's, that's the guy that, that loves, that's a Bob Fletcher lover, the guy, the ball guy. Fox 9? No, no, St. Paul officer. Oh, is he? Yeah, I talked to him. Oh, that's why he was giving me some, some yeah. hard look yeah, on he's, camera? He's a, like he wanted to punch me in the face? He's, yeah. He's a, Feeling he's was mutual. Feeling was mutual. He's probably going to be a nice, nice Ramsey County deputy eventually. Oh, I'm sure that's what he's planning for. So, 10 feet makes it safe? I have no idea why they closed the road off. They said they were going to bring fire trucks in, but I don't see them. They had a ladder truck drive through. Oh, yeah, they had a ladder truck drive by. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why they, that's why they closed the whole road off. That makes sense. That makes sense. So they still have SWAT in front of the door. No, I didn't trespass. I left when he asked me. I think you should uh, learn learn your laws, buddy. You got a lot of haters, man. Dude, so many haters in here. All these all these Bob and Pat fans in my channel. They got nothing better to do because Bob and Pat's not out, I guess. Mm. Are you live? No. You going on the roof? I mean, the whole road's closed. The fuck's the matter? Whoever this was in the Chevy got special treatment. GAS405. Well, Super special camera. treatment. He didn't have a camera. I'm not sure. This is the one you stumbled upon when you were on the phone with you, right? Yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, I was five, six hours ago now. I had a subscriber bring me a battery pack. This ain't even my battery pack. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> I like went offline. I'm like, shit, I gotta go get my battery pack. I know, I was gonna come, but I'm like, dude, by the time I got here, you'd be long gone. Still got a lot of juice in it. I appreciate it, by the way, if you're still watching. I don't think anyone's done that for Bob. They give him Twinkies. Oh, Twinkies. Yeah. Oh, and gift cards. They give him lots of gift cards, and uh, some of them gift cards just get lost, man. Look, officers, officers even taking her own pictures from closer than we're allowed to. That's cool. Are, are those personal pictures? Probably. No, they moved us back so they could spray it down and they didn't do shit. 
I'm not sure. We were on the phone and he stumbled on it. I was doing other shit today, but my whole plans got changed. Well, uh, you know, when I went out to the one in Wright County, that was 44 hours for that standoff. Did you stay out there the whole time? No, I was out there for 10. I thought it was you. They said, Matthew, I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to have to negotiate, man. But you got a drone? No. Oh. I got to get a drone. Oh, yeah. And an FCC license and all that shit. How's this tape make any sense? She did. Where's the Where's the fire department coming in? You told me a couple, what, an hour ago now the fire department's gonna come in and put the fire out. I found out the gas is out, so I think you're a liar. Commander Molly. Why do you lie to the public, Commander Molly? You guys don't give a shit about the Constitution. Look, the fire's even picking up in the house. Smoking way more than it was before. Instead of standing around, why don't you guys talk to the people? At least do some community relations. You guys would rather talk amongst yourselves? Kick people off a sidewalk for recording? Real fucking transparent. Because I can see right through you. Here, let's have these guys watching my stream watch themselves. Whole lot of nothing happening, yeah. They wanted to arrest people on a sidewalk. Smoke is actually getting worse, for sure. It's getting way more smoky. So you're gonna let that motherfucker burn. Do nothing. Do nothing but sit on bumpers, collect their paychecks, go home and tell their wives they did a real good job today, kicking people off sidewalks.
So if you're worried about our safety, you're standing in the same spot. Exactly. Weird. They were worried about our safety, but they're standing where we were standing earlier. Oh, right there. Yeah. They told us they were going to close the road off so the fire department get in. Well, that was a lie because the fire department's on the south end of Hope. They're on the other end. Yeah. Hey. Man. They fuck. They lie. Oh, it's a gimbal. Keep the phone steady. That motherfucker's cold. <laughs> you get it at Best Buy. They're pretty cheap. How much does that cost you? Like a bill. A bill? Yeah. So was that was that like the what, what is the thumb thing right there? Oh, you can like move it. Oh, okay, okay. Like a joystick, you know? Yeah. Instead of holding the motherfucker phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this charges it? So this is actually a light. This is separate. I got like a little add-on. Oh, okay. In case it's oh, dark okay. as fuck. Yeah. Oh, that motherfucker, alright. <laughs> oh, and you got the charger thing in your pocket? Yeah, battery pack. So I keep going. Fucking smoke is just getting worse and worse. Coming out the windows now where they shot the holes in it. Oh, they, they're allowing it to vent, so it burns more. Oh, okay. That's why they shot holes in it I mean, with those 40s? That's, that's, that's a good shot. Oh, 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 That's somebody. That ain't no baby though. That's a body. That's a body? Yeah. That's oh, shit. Look, they got the stretcher. They got the stretcher. They got the stretcher, they got the stretcher right there. Look. They taking the stretcher out. Yeah. They got their fucking house burned down. Hours somebody get me. They got the stretcher out. They got the stretcher. Come over here, y'all. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking serious, dude? Make sure you get a good picture. Good job, good job, good job. It's a long time, man.
Why y'all ain't reached the place a long time ago? Why y'all ain't reached the place a long time ago? Take it slow. So the game is done. I was telling you. I think it's got to be too much. I don't know what that song is called. Y'all got all that song. Let me get my phone. It's going to hurt a little bit. It's going to hurt a little bit. Break the couple of ribs. Just him. So firefighters finally go in. Yeah, we don't care if there's kids in there. Yeah, that's what everybody always does. So Make sure there's no kids in there. Matthew, you should have got it done. It's going to be the last thing you drink. Matthew, you should have got it drunk. Matthew, you slow. You probably got mental problems. <laughs> <laughs> so the command unit is pulling out. <laughs> Shout out. What yeah. you got an Instagram or anything? Yeah, man. Y'all yeah, follow me yeah, on yeah, Facebook. Man. Uzi G, get it done, man. <laughs> Matthew, Pressure crazy team. than a motherfucker, man. Y'all got smoke team, man. blood from Matthew, man. <laughs> For sure. You know what I'm saying? Hope them yeah, kids all right, though. Damn. Firefighters are finally going in. I still don't understand how we would have been in the way of the firefighters if we're on the sidewalk over there. That still doesn't, uh, it defies logic. You're not. It defies logic. Well, they pulled the crime scene tape down. I never was crying. I was expressing my opinion. So here's the two, uh, what? At least a couple hundred thousand dollar vehicles leaving here. in the parking lot. Be upholding my rights, not trampling them. Don't you agree, Ms. Brandt? Oh, you don't even respect the public to give a, to acknowledge them. Great, that's great. Good look, Ms. Brandt.
I hate how they use cell phones now to have private conversations. So the neighbors can go back to their homes, but they have to go inside their residence. So if any of the neighbors can give us permission to go on their property, that would be awesome. Dude, just go on that roof over there, man. Look at this fire chief's car. What's he got in here? A bunch of paperwork. A bunch of public information. Y'all live right there. You can't go home all day. No, my car. Oh, your car. You want to get out? Mm -hmm. That sucks. Yeah. yeah, we've been waiting here for like six hours. Yeah, that's that's terrible. <laughs> Ruin your day pretty much. Yep. Yep. Now those ladies right there. They live right under the guy. Oh really? Yes. Really? Yeah. Damn. That's what she was saying. She's like. Because it's a duplex, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So he was in the second floor. Yeah. Well, was he dead when he pulled him up? I think he was moving. Yeah, yeah. so that he was moving on the back of the door. Could he be alive still with all that smoke in there? I know, that's why I thought he'd be like passed out and they'd like... And what kind of fire was this that there were no flames on the smoke? Well, it is possible. It just like makes embers and smoke. Depending on the material. At one, at one point, there was uh, a little bit of flames coming out the roof. I saw. So yeah. That's where they're smoking out the roof. Yeah. So I don't know, like in the attic or something, I guess, or maybe like a different. Now they're breaking out the windows to make sure all the something. He damaged that house for good, though. Oh yeah. And this is the thing. Well, me and James, uh, we were looking, in, we were looking at, we looked at it from Zillow, looking like how it looked. They have recently renovated this kitchen. They had renovated the kitchen, like very recently. Damn. And I said, mess it up. And also, it looked nice though. But still, that sucks. But it's a good thing that he let his uh, girlfriend and baby out. Absolutely. Around yeah, it's just, uh, just before I came to try to get my car. I see like videos where they like bash out the windows and run the hose through it, you know? Oh I thought that's God. what they were gonna do. They were lucky that they didn't, they didn't do that. Why are you doing on battery? On the battery? Uh, 3%? <laughs> we're hanging in there still. Oh, you mean on this? Two bars still. You got a full one. <laughs> I'll give this one back to you pretty soon. <laughs> so as you came out again. Cops pushed us back. Cause the crowd is getting unruly, I guess. They don't care about the freedom of the press too much. Did they take anyone out of there? Yeah, they took the dude out in the name. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah. Probably on my way over here to give me a new battery. Yeah. Fire department should be able to wrap this off. It's just Deputy Chief parked right in front of me. 
It's like a jerkish thing to do. Hey, you see a dude recording there, and you're gonna park right in front of him. We try to show him who's boss, I guess. Deputy Chief's the boss. Deputy Chief of the Fire Department's the boss. Well, they just had their, uh, what, their Federation, St. Paul Fire Federation uh, leader, I think president or whatever, is drunk driving, right? I don't know if you read oh, that story. Yeah, no, I haven't been up to date on that. <laughs> Not too long ago. Caught him drunk driving. I've had a conversation with that photographer before. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But it does look like they have a lot of the smoke knocked down already. Well, it's like smoldering now. I mean, it's just surprising the whole house didn't burn down. I, that's what I was saying. Like, I did see flames on the roof at one I mean, point. Was it planned that way? Plan? No, I don't think it's planned. I hope not. Do you have any idea why this guy was wanted? I'm not sure. No. no. I mean, I've been here like couldn't. I ran across this today, and I was like, all right, I got to film this, right? So like, ruined my whole day basically because I thought it was important to uh, put out there. Yeah, you've been out here quite a while. <laughs> Here and uh, you had something else going on on Third Third Street, didn't you? Yeah, Third and uh, where they hit the, the tobacco shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, a peculiar car that was sitting there. What's up, Minnesota News Now? I feel like it. Minnesota news when I feel like it. You must have felt like it eventually. Felt like it when I heard him give threats to arrest people. For all the fire department that never rolled through the street. Seems like a lie, doesn't it? Government lying? No. It's like the, the statement they'll give the press release and tell you absolutely nothing but they're all great they do a great job according to themselves instead of just telling us what happened it's like how successful the state fair was well they wonder why people don't trust them because they lie to us all the time probably not going to be any uh, press release oh yeah no not they only do that for murders honestly <laughs> Yeah, but if that was a baby that they took out... Was it? Uh, that's what a lot of people were, we're saying. saying. I, I didn't I, see I, that. That crowd... I don't know. The, the one the one person whose car was on the street said they took the kid and the, the, mo or the female out earlier. Yeah, the only comments I see in the so. call itself is just that you have reached the ball and I think it's not in big wood. I wonder if they wrote that van a ticket. Nah, it's okay. I mean, where else do you want to park? Do we need to clear it for breaking He needs more oxygen. That's why his bell's ringing, right? It's just air. It's just air. It's not air. oxygen. I'm surprised it just didn't break through the windows. Well, they some videos I've seen that they have. They, oh, they okay. Did, of the know. car, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like New York. That's when they're real spiteful, right? Well, what will happen is they'll get a tort claim so the person can sue the city for the damage. Yeah. And then the city has to pay for the damage, so is it worth it? Oh, yeah. Don't be careful. So these uh, deputy fire chief must be in cahoots with, uh, be real good friends with them. Huh. 
We'll, we'll look into his background. The head of the union that drinks and drives. We'll, we'll look into his background. I'm, I'm very curious about him now. Very, very curious about him. Yep. Fire department's gonna be my new best friend. That was a poor move by them. Poor, I, poor I, public I, relations. I don't understand the point of standing here to move everyone over there. For what? Like They'd already turned the gas off. Stay here in this area. If, 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 even if they didn't have the gas off, there's no difference between the whole explosion you hear and you on the other side of the street. There's literally no cover. There's no difference. So well, that's, well that's, why, that's why I got a little heated because I thought it was the po most pointless thing I ever saw. It's because the people were like, you know, cracking jokes and, you know, having fun or whatever here. Oh, yeah, you're going to put it on Twitter? I think. I'm promoting you on Twitter and YouTube and everything else. Two hour drive back home. So do I, man. I used my mom's car this time. That was better on gas than my stepdad's truck. Gas battery pack's pretty good. What kind is this hey, one? You're still good on battery? Yeah. No, it's got two bars. I'll give it back to you before you leave. Oh, no, I, that's fine. You can keep it as long as you need to. I got your number. Oh, oh I, I get that. Because I got back up here if you needed it. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Not everybody's like that. I was on the phone with him when he's like, hey, I just rolled by. There's something going on. You better, I'm like, you better stop and check it out. Yeah, I was like, wasn't even yeah, planning was on like, it. My mom needs to keep watching this. I can't let it go dead. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Hey, you guys have a good night. I'll Thanks. give it back to you. I'm going to go off. I'm going to go Are off you sure? I think they got this wrapped up. Yeah, yeah I'll give it back to you. They just need salvage and overhaul now. Yeah. They got it wrapped up.